lunch, Kurt. Well, it's now time to wine and dine. Well, not literally, more like chocolate cake and martinis, which is almost just as good. We've got uh, Richard. He is the kitchen manager at Casey's, and I'm also joined by Diane. She is the assistant general manager. Okay. Let's start with you, Richard. I am excited to get into some of your desserts. Okay, so I brought three fan favorites. Okay. Obviously, due to limitations, I can't start cooking stuff here, right? <laughs> so I'm going to start off with our cheesecake trio. Okay. Which is quite popular because it is three different types of flavors mm -hmm. of cheesecake. We have chocolate, creme brulee, and New York. All right. Okay, so I'm going to show you how we start this off, right? Because each one of them, the, and they come out of the kitchen quite fast, okay? All right. So the creme brulee, I'm going to give a little bit of caramel. Ooh. All right, very generous amount. Yeah, I'm liking that. Okay, the chocolate, I'm going to doubt some chocolate sauce. Okay, that makes sense. And then we'll have some fun with the whipped cream. Oh, no, no. Oh. New York gets a full tablespoon mm. of strawberry sauce. I... Okay. I take a strawberry. Okay. Off the bottom. And I like that you're incorporating fresh fruit into this. Well, that's what it is really about Casey's, is it's all about the freshness. It's all about the colors. Yeah. Okay, so I fan a fresh strawberry out. Mm -hmm. Okay. A little touch of whipped, whipped cream. cream. All right. And I'm keeping me in suspense in. here. I really want to get at that creme brulee cheesecake. All right. It's my favorite. Oh, does that ever and look that nice? Right there is okay. our cheesecake trio. Go Gorgeous. Ahead. Now I'm going to uh, dive into this and let you show me quickly. Okay, so now I'm going to show Dean. Oh, no, no, I'm saving the best one for last. Oh, five. gosh, okay. okay. So the next one I'm going to do is our cinnamon donut holes. Uh -huh. All right. So I already have the donuts already cooked here. All right. I'm going to mm -hmm. take the donuts. I'm going to put cinnamon sugar over it. Right. Okay. Okay. I'm going to mix them up. Now, before, I don't want us to run out of time, Diane, what drinks are you going to be starting or, or making for us? We're going to do a Brazilian tan line, which is one of our martinis. Okay. Um, I can start it now if you'd like. Yeah, so I'm definitely. going to chill the glass. Um, I'm going to start with our shaker and put some ice in that. <laughs> We're going to start with some um, Pichu Cachaça, which is the number one uh, liquor in Brazil. Okay. Some Soho lychee, which you'll find in a lot of martinis. Yep. Some peach puree. And then we're going to finish it off with some passion uh, fruit juice. Okay. This looks like something I might like. Now, you have a new menu coming out in just a couple weeks. We have a fall menu starting on October the 16th, yep. which is quite yummy. Um, we've got some great flavors in that, um, showcasing, uh, you know, some Ontario flavors and, uh, and all the stuff that's good for fall. Part of that is actually a gluten-free portion on your menu, which, which you kind of pioneered. Yeah, we have a gluten-free menu, which we can offer. It started out at our restaurant, yep. and it is now um, uh, across uh, national. Yep. So that is our Brazilian tan line. And why was it important for you to offer a gluten-free option, such as gluten-free pasta and a dedicated fryer for, for um, the gluten-free product? Well, it started out as a passion for myself, mm -hmm. uh, because I have someone in my family who has that um, need. Yep. And um, we definitely had people in the area that were coming in and asking for it. So we determined that it would be right. a good thing to do for everybody. And we've had some great response. <laughs> I am gonna head back to these desserts. I need to try these Timbits. Yep. What do I dip it in? Well, uh, normally I have a side of strawberry sauce, so you can go ahead. Okay. All right, or a little bit of chocolate or caramel. Ooh, that looks good. All right. And this giant chocolate cake, is this actually on your menu? This is actually on our and menu. And I'm going to get a piece this large? Yes. And you come in, <laughs> all right. Pop the cake. This is, uh, surprisingly, we cut it into 12. What's it called? Uh, mile, high, mile High Chocolate mile Cake. High. Okay, so I would recommend that that maybe the Mile High Chocolate Cake might be something that you uh, split between two or three people. <laughs> oh, and... You will not regret it. Oh, I don't doubt that. Thank you both so, so much for coming down today. Head to their website and check out their brand new fall menu, which also includes those gluten-free products. We're going to take a quick break, but there's lots more coming up this morning on CTV Morning Live.